Let's have a look at how we could create variables and assign values to variables. Like for example, I could create a variable called car equal Honda. And then if I say print, and then I could type in car. And so can you guess what I will get? Because I have already created a variable called car. And if I use the print function, and then inside the print function, I put in car. Yes, you guessed it. So I will get Honda as the printed output. Let's do it. There you go, Honda. Because car is now representing the word Honda, okay? And so what if I create another one? Color equals to white. And then enter. If I type in print color, what will I get? Yes, you guessed it, I will get white. And so what if you type in print and then car comma color, what will you get? Okay, so you get the combination of the two words. You notice that it also has a single space in between. Like for example, you could type in something like this as well. Print the car brand is, and then you could type in car, And then you could type in color. All right, I have to switch this a bit because I'm using a single quotation. And so it detects that it is a string inside here. And so it will get confused. So let me use a double quotation mark here. But actually, it would be better to use double outside and a single here and a double here. All right, so that looks more like it. And so you can see that the combination of the four strings here will give you the following sentence. The car brand is Honda and its color is white. And you could even add another one to be a period. But actually it also has a empty space here. Well, you could also do it like that. Just using a simple plus symbol. Okay, so you can see that the print function allows you to combine several strings or several values. It could also be a number. Okay, let me do it again. Let's say $20,000 USD. Okay, and so you can see that we've combined all of these into a sentence. And so let's imagine that you have several variables and then you could just plug in the number at a later time. Let's say that you have already created a template and this is already your template. And let's say that I changed the brand of the car. Let's say that I reassigned it to be Mercedes Benz. And then I change the color to be blue. Let's see what I get from the previous sentence. So I already have a template here. And if I hit an enter, and so you can see that the sentence is now updated with the new car brand, Mercedes-Benz, and the color has been updated to blue. And actually the number 20,000 could also be another variable. We could also call it price. Let's say, we set the price to be 50,000. And then in the above sentence here, in the above code, I'll change this to price. Okay, and now the sentence is updated with the new information. And so you should also note that a variable is without the quotation mark, but if you have quotation mark, then it is a string. Okay, so don't yet get confused with that. Like for example, if I type in print car, I will get the value that is assigned to the car variable. But if I type in print and then quotation mark car, then it will be treated as a string. But if I just use it without the quotation mark, it will be recognized as a variable. Now let's say that I have assigning a variable to be A equals to one, B equals to two, and I create another one, C equals to A plus B. Let's say I type in print C, or actually just C. 
you see that A and B will be added together. So one plus two, because the value of A is one, the value of B is two. And so C is equal to the summation of one and two. And so it will be three. And let's say that I updated the value of A to be two. And what will C be? C will be updated. Oh, but I have to first reassign it again. I have to reassign C equals to A plus B again so that it will be evaluated and then type in C and it will be four. Because if I don't run it again, it will use the old information. And so in order to use the new information, I have to run the line here again. So right after updating the code of A equals to two, I run this line again and then the value is updated to four. And so congratulations. In this video, you have already learned how to perform basic addition, multiplication, division right inside the Python interpreter. And so congratulations. In this video, you have already learned how to create variables, how to combine variables, and also how to print the values of a single variable and also a combination of several variables together. And so please stay tuned for more tutorial videos on Python. And so if you're finding value in this video, please support the channel by smashing the like button, subscribing if you haven't already, and also make sure to hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified of the next video. And until next time, happy coding.